Hey, what's up out there, Prestige community? It's Roll Easy here, and I hope you enjoy my video here featured on PMHD. And if you do enjoy it, make sure to come by and check out my channel. The sub link is at the top of the description. What's good out there, guys? It's Roll Easy here, and I'm back with a gift cards to friends glitch. Uh, many of you have been asking for this, so here it is, but there are a few downsides. This does work on Xbox One and PlayStation 4, but there's a few tricky things, but we're gonna go over all of that, all right? So what you're gonna need for this glitch is you actually need two friends to help you. So this is a three-player glitch. I'll say that right off the bat. So downside number one, you need two friends to help you out, all right? You need to be in an invite-only session. The car giver needs a facility, so the person giving the car needs a facility, and that car needs to be in their facility, okay? The car receiver, person getting the car, needs a bunker and an MOC with the personal vehicle storage and throw a Faggio inside of there because that's what we're gonna be overriding to get your friend's car. And you need bunker caddies. Okay, you'll see why we need bunker caddies at the end, but the person receiving the car needs bunker caddies in their bunker, very important. So the way I'm gonna be uh, talking about the friends and stuff like that and actually categorizing them, it's friend one is the car giver and friend two is the job host and then obviously i the main perspective is the car receiver okay so friend two actually the person that's job hosting needs to be in a separate invite only session yes so the third friend helping you which is friend two in this video is the job host person and that person needs to be in another invite only session by themselves in the lobby screen for titan of a job okay and we want to get that straight reason for that we need the perfect alert so no jobs can be started in the session where we're getting the car okay so i know some of this might seem confusing to you but i definitely needed to go over all this before we get into the video and uh yeah so text tutorial will be in the description if you want to follow along with that founders i really don't know who all the founders are to be honest with you k glitcher is the founder of this first part to actually get the tracker off it's from his dupe glitch that's how i know this works on xbox one and ps4 so i know 100 the first part goes to him the rest i'm not sure i did this glitch four or five months ago like when i first joined fart crew so this is actually really old and it was just put out there now so i'm not totally sure i'm not gonna be in a fight over foundership that's not my style so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this video here now this is me right now inside of my friend's facility okay so shout out to bmx for helping me out and shout out to him for figuring out a surefire way to hit this most of the time like 90 percent. this is the hardest part getting the tracker off the vehicle so i need to be in his facility that's bmx that's the car he's giving me what he's doing right now is remember i have friend two in another lobby in titan of a job so he's going to the party right now and actually joining friend two and then driving out right before the join alert comes up and he's accepting the first alert and then he's sitting on the second alert okay for like we we recommend sitting on it for a minute and a half to be honest with you just to be safe but with this method you will see it's much easier to hit this first part so right now what's actually happening is i need to stay in this facility for a little while I'll tell you when you can get out but right now bmx is actually just sitting on that second alert okay and i'm going to show you his perspective so don't worry about that i'm actually going to hit that part for you because that is the hardest part to actually hit okay but right now he's just sitting on that alert and we're pretty sure that he's hit it because you know he figured this out he figured this little surefire way out and i'm actually gonna explain it in detail for you okay so here we go this is the car that i'm giving just say for example and my friend too is in another lobby and in another invite only session in titan of a job so that i can join them okay so on xbox your friend needs to back out okay but on playstation your friend excuse me your friend can just stay in the job and just sit there okay but on xbox your friend needs to back out when you accept that first alert so you need to tell him right away so here we go we're gonna get started right here this is how it's done so you want to go ahead and go over to your party join your friend in another session that's in the other job okay so join them and then this is what you want to do just literally left and right trigger just tap 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 x okay x or a and you accept that first alert and you sit on the second alert that is how we found this works the best okay and now we're sitting on this alert for a minute and a half that is literally the method we used and we were able to get a few cars done last night doing it this way okay so at this point i know that i've basically hit this i'm sitting on here for a minute and a half remember xbox right when you accept that first alert your friend needs to back out of that job so you need to be in communication with him and that job cannot be started in this session it needs to be a separate session 
So once a minute and a half has passed, I'm gonna go ahead and accept this alert, okay? So I'm gonna accept this alert, and then what should happen is you should basically, sometimes you'll spawn underground, sometimes not. I know I hit it though, because look, I can get out of the car right now, check, get out of the car, and look, boom. See that, no tracker. Friend needs, friend one needs to stay inside. The car giver needs to stay, or um, the, the person receiving the car, sorry, needs to stay in the facility over there, okay? So the friend that's in the facility needs to stay in there until the person giving the car right here drives into the bunker. That's very important. If the friend that's standing in the facility, the car receiver standing in the facility leaves, then you will be kicked out of this car and it will be bricked, okay? So make sure that the person, the car receiver in the facility does not leave until the car giver has fully gone into the bunker right here. Boom. We're good. So now everybody can come into this session. So you see, we're going back to the perspective of me, the person receiving the car. BMX has already glitched out the car. He's in the bunker. It has no tracker. We're good to go. At this point, I can go ahead and accept or I can invite my friend that's in the in the separate session. I can go ahead and invite them into the session, okay, into this one. So everybody can come into here. Remember, you don't want any jobs whatsoever started in here. That's why that friend is in another session, okay? And that part right there where you heard me spamming the left and right triggers, okay? You heard me doing that. For some reason, that helps. Just spamming one doesn't help and just holding doesn't help. Okay, spam both of them back to back to back. Just keep spamming and then you will eventually drive out and you want to accept that first alert as quick as possible. Sit on that second alert for a minute and a half. Xbox, when you accept that first alert, you need to tell your friend to back out of that job. PlayStation, your friend can just sit there. Okay, nice and easy. But that is how that works. Also, for those of you that are on two consoles on the same network, this will this part will not work for you. You need to have your friend that's, you know, in a different, you know, area, not in not on your network, okay? Because I have two consoles on the same network and I tried to glitch myself out. The alerts come up way too quick. I needed BMX to actually go into a different session so that I can join him. Okay, I couldn't do it with my second account. So that's just for those of you that are using, you know, dual consoles and stuff. That part will be really tricky if you're on the same network. So at this point, everybody's in the same session and I've gone ahead and gone to my bunker and I'm entering right now, okay? So what we did in the beginning right there, that was taking the tracker off of the vehicle, all right? That's uh, because we did that, watch, me walking into my own bunker, I'm actually gonna see BMX's car, okay? I'm gonna see his car, you see that? He's actually inside his bunker inside that car right now. He stays inside of the driver's seat. He needs to give me access now to his car. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in the passenger seat and you see he's invisible because he's actually in his bunker. He's gonna pop out of his car and then I should slide right over, just like that, okay? So at this point, you wanna go ahead and, and invite both of your friends over to your bunker, okay? Invite both your friends to the bunker. There they are. Now you can go ahead and get out of the car and run over to your MOC and grab that Fagio that I said you wanted to have in there. Okay, so you see that? I got the Fagio in here. I'm gonna go ahead and get on it and drive out of the MOC. So now that I've done that and I'm back, we're gonna go ahead and you know glitch ourselves out here in the bunker. So the car is glitched out, we're good. Now we need to glitch myself out so that I can actually get my friend's car. All right, so I'm gonna have one of my friends, doesn't really matter who does what at this point, but one of your friends go ahead and sit on the back of the Fagio and they're actually gonna press pause and go to the PlayStation store or Xbox store. And you see it's over here in the pause menu. You're gonna click on that. You're actually gonna click on it and open it and sit there. So that's what my friend on the back of the Fagio is doing right now, sitting inside the PlayStation store looking at those shark cards, okay? Now, the friend that is on the bunker caddy, this is why we needed caddies, okay? They're gonna be pushing you. All right, you need to get frozen behind the MOC and they're gonna be pushing you. So at first we were trying this. We were, I had done this a long time ago and it seemed to work really good, but I guess it's changed a little bit. We would kind of angle ourselves here. We'd park as far away as we can with the right D-pad option. You see when I press right D-pad, the light in the back flash, the tail light, and it stays, you know, like that. That means you're frozen. The second that that light turns off, you're not frozen anymore, okay? So that means that you need to tell your friend to stop pushing you. You need to be frozen. What allows you to get frozen is the friend on the back of the Fagio in the PlayStation store. But he's pushing you and you need to remain frozen while he's pushing you. So I recommend press right D-pad and while he's first touching you right here and pushing, you wanna spam right D-pad still to make sure you don't get unfrozen, okay? But as you can see, we failed twice in a row there and then we actually decided to just literally, you know, park straight at each other, so. I parked straight at him, I pressed right D-pad, I'm frozen right now, and you know you're frozen too because your right stick to move the camera doesn't work. So 
we found that this is actually kind of easy. You face right at each other and you kind of push at a little bit of an angle. And as he was pushing me right there, I was spamming right D-pad to make sure that I was still frozen. At this point, you don't need to spam right D-pad. You don't even get the option from this far away. So I know I'm good. But BMX needs to go ahead and push me to the concrete. I recommend getting pushed up to the yellow lines that are on the ground. You'll see what I mean right here. But he is just slowly pushing me. And you see the yellow lines? I recommend getting pushed to about this, you know, this far. Make sure you're still frozen. You need to be frozen, uh, you know, by moving the right stick. If you can't move the right stick, then you're good, all right? So right now, what BMX is going to do is get off the bunker caddy, and he's actually going to go and start up a Titan of a job. And he's just going to sit in the settings screen, okay? So this is a little bit different for Xbox and PlayStation, but PlayStation, I can just join him through the party, and I'll get the private alerts, and I'm good to go. Xbox, you need to get the first alert. Uh, tell him to back out and then you can go ahead and accept both alerts after that But we need the perfect alert here Okay, and I'm gonna include a fail because I want to show you what not to do All right, and what will not work 100% if anybody has started a job at all in this lobby This is what will happen. Okay, I'm gonna go join BMX who's in Titan of a job right now All right, once I join him, I'm gonna accept the first alert and look at this You see how it took me up into the clouds and I got the second alert if you go up into the clouds and back down, it will not work. And that means that somebody has started jobs. You've been doing stuff. You need to be in a fresh session, okay? So look, if you went up in the clouds, you will not get the car. See that? I will not get sucked in with his car. So that's just a warning. If you're going up and down in the clouds, it will not work. You need the perfect alert. So make sure nobody starts any jobs in the session. It needs to be a perfect session. So this is the successful attempt. We actually tried it again in a fresh session where nobody started anything and we're going to go ahead and I'm going to join BMX, accept the first alert, and then I should get a private alert and look, I stay right there. Xbox, remember, join your friend, tell him to back out when you're on the first alert and then you can accept the alerts, okay? So all I got to do is run over to the car and guess what? Right when it starts, there we go. I get sucked right into my own MOC with his vehicle, okay? So that's how that works, guys, all right? I got his car, it's in my MOC. If you wanna be safe, you can drive it out and back in, but that's totally up to you, all right? But that's pretty much it, guys. Yeah, I went into full detail as much as I could about the things that people were having trouble with. Like I said, go back and look at the first part, getting the car glitched out with no tracker because that is the part that most people are having difficulties with. But like I said, try to follow that little rule that we were doing there join the friend and then just spam the left and right triggers just keep spamming them back to back to back and then eventually it will let you out seems like there is a delay or something that happened with that glitch remember that's an old glitch it's a dupe glitch so now we're using it for this so it's definitely a little touchy they have tried to patch it in the past all right but follow all the rules that i put in this video re-watch it get a few friends find them in the comments section go to seven sins find them in the matchmaking section you know talk to people man find friends and you can do cool stuff like this and uh, yeah, so shout out to everybody, man. I hope you enjoyed the video. My name's Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace. Yo, what's good, Prestige community? It's Zav or PMHD here. Don't forget to check out the director featured in today's video if you enjoyed it. Sub link is at the top of the description. Check out our previous videos too. Subscribe, stay tuned, stay prestige. Peace.